What up, YouTube? What's good to all of my super fly, super cool, super dope subscribers? Love all of you guys. Got a crazy theory for you. Crazy theory for you. Now, I've been thinking about this for a while. Um, although I do got to say, it's not only my theory. I have heard this before. I have read this before. Um, I'm even going to give you a couple of sources. Even though these sources you're not going to be able to find in English. But still, I'm going to give you those sources. Um, so here's the theory, right? What if Darwin got evolution right only 50%? Let's say Darwin only got evolution right 50%. And here's what I mean. What if evolution didn't go as we know it? At, do I personally, do I believe in evolution? No. I mean, there are a lot of discrepancies with evolution. But let's say, let's say, let's just, you know... Um, Let's say that the scientific community, let's say the Darwin, you know, they're clinging on to this whole evolution theory so hard. Let's just, you know, throw them a bone and let's say it's right. Uh, but only 50%. And here's what I mean. So let's say that instead of evolution going from, you know, as we know it, from the aquatic life, you know, then going on to the land, you know, walking upright. Um, so on and so forth, you know, to the chimps and, 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 and then the upright humans. And now we're sort of, you know, they're saying that we're sort of reaching, you know, going to AI or whatever. That's the next. But let's say that evolution actually went backwards. And here's what I mean. And again, there are stories, uh, you know, there are stories about this. You can, uh, if you want, you can look into a book, a Hindu book called Mahabharata or even the Slavic Vedas. Yes, there is such a thing as Slavic Vedas. That's actually the most original of all original books. Uh, the Indian Vedas actually came from the Slavic Vedas. Now, let me go on. So basically, instead of evolution going the way we know it from the aquatic to the humans, what if what if evolution went backwards and here's what i mean so very originally the creator created the spiritual world um before all right let's say before the creator created the spiritual world um sparks were created and here's what i mean by sparks all of us are you know energy sparks so these like imagine god imagine the creation as an eternal fire right and as this fire is burning sparks are flying out of it right now these sparks are very much a part of the fire is it, they are inseparable from the fire yet they are their own sparks right now when the creator created the spiritual world these sparks they were, let's call them demigods, spiritual beings, even before demigods. They were, you know, this sort of their own sparks, energy entities. So we were all, yes, I will say we were all because we were all once a part of it. We were all hanging out in the spiritual world. And then some of the sparks said, well, you know what? We kind of want a new experience. We want to learn something else. And then the creator says, well, why don't we create a material world? But, but, before you could just go on and, you know, play in your material world and get all these different experiences, there are going to be laws, rules, if you will, universal laws and rules. And one of it being the major one, the most major one, karma. As we know it. So basically you can't just go into the material world and do whatever the hell you want and not get any repercussions from it. When you go into the material world, if you don't follow the universal law, you will fall. Like, you know, like in a game, you will go down the levels and you're going to have to get back up. So we entered 
the material world as demigods now why is this not so crazy of a theory well because all of a sudden we are finding all of these different civilizations around the world that are predating everything everything that we know about science and they they are spread all around the world and they're, they're not making any sense sciences cannot explain anything Ex again if you were going to go back to the book of Mahabharata they're talking about a a war a month between gods that happened thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago if you turn to some of the scientists today's scientists they will tell you that there are sort of like these markings all around the world that show maybe maybe a atomic war that happened thousands and thousands of years ago that some sort of weaponry was used that we still don't know anything about so let me get back to my point so we entered this world as demigods now as demigods you know of course we wanted to experience all the worldly pleasures and everything like that and lust and all these different things so all of a sudden entered the universal laws of karma so the more we kept indulging the more we kept falling so from the demigods we went to the humans now what's the next step from the humans obviously we have something in the slavic language called abiziana ab is yana yana is soul so basically and and abiziana is obviously a monkey right so if if you were to um translate the word completely the etymology of the word you would understand that abiziana a monkey is actually a man without the soul so as we fell from the demigods to humans obviously we kept indulging some more karma came in even harder and we started to get animalistic traits we we kept instead of evolving we kept de-evolving and so on and so forth and down and all the way until the the water world the mineral world the you know all the i'm, I'm it's kind of hard to uh put my thoughts together right now but you know exactly what i mean all so on and so forth until we are stuck in the cycle right now trying to go back up through the spiritual evolution back up <clears throat> but <clears throat> obviously i'm not only talking about the spiritual i'm talking about the actual physical de-evolution from the demigods from the sparks uh, from the godly sparks to the demigods to the humans to the monkeys and so on and so forth where we again we are stuck right now not knowing who we are what we are what we are doing trying to get back up to our godly nature hence the term falling from the grace of god i mean let me know what you guys think about this prove to me that you're alive food for thought uno